When Jesus tells us that his coming will be as the days of Noah, he is not teaching a pre-tribulation rapture of his church. If you look closely at those verses and their context, you will see the passage is saying the opposite. Let's take a look at the passage and then discuss it further. In Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 through 39, we read, But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating, drinking, marrying, and given in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. This passage is clearly referencing the return of Christ. And in context, we can see when this is to occur. Earlier in Matthew 24, 21, Christ warns of the coming tribulation, saying, For then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. And continuing in verses 29 through 31, he says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, the moon will not give its light, the stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming, on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with the sound of a great trumpet. And they will gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Now let's look closer at the reference Jesus is making when mentioning Noah's flood. The flood is representing God's wrath. And Jesus is clearly stating this wrath occurs at the coming of the Son of Man. He states for a second time, he is talking about his return in verse 39, where he says, And did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. And again, in context, that is after the Great Tribulation, not before. This passage is not saying, God is going to put the believers in heaven while his wrath pours out on the earth. Noah and his family in the ark does represent the believers. However, it should be noted that they did not leave the earth. They were protected by God by way of the ark he told them how to build so that they could endure and survive this time of wrath. It was all around them, but they were spared. God provided them a way through this time of destruction. Jesus just told us in verses 29 through 31 that the gathering of the elect occurs after the tribulation of those days. Jesus is warning that his coming and the wrath of God will catch the unbelievers off guard because they are in darkness. As we see in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 2 through 4, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness so that this day should overtake you as a thief. Also, it is because the unbelievers will be deluded into believing the lie. 2 Thessalonians 2.11 for this reason, God will send them strong delusion that they should believe the lie. And even believers are warned repeatedly to be watching, to be alert, so as not to be caught off guard. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6 tells us, Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. In Luke 21, 34, we are warned, But take heed to yourself lest your hearts be weighed down with carousing and drunkenness and cares of this life, and that day come on you unexpectedly. The warnings are clear. If 
if you're not paying attention and do not know what the Bible teaches about the end times, you could be surprised when an unexpected thief shows up. If you are alert and watching, you will not be surprised. You will instead find yourself rejoicing as you know the return of Jesus is about to occur. I'll close with Luke 21, 28. Now, when these things begin to happen, look up, lift up your heads, because your redemption draws near. Amen.